the objective of this video is to write uh, the equation of a graph. So here is an example where you have got two types of graph. This is also called a piecemeal uh, type of graph where one graph can be split into two types of graphs. So it's a very interesting question, so let's read the question. Megan drives in a straight line away from the only cell phone tower in the area to look at the change in the strength of the signal. She records the signal strength, which is S as a percent at the distance X in kilometers from the tower and draws the graph of a data below. So this is a graph. What she has done is she has plotted the graph. So this is on the x-axis she took the distance she traveled from the tower and this is the strength of the tower. So when say when she was at the tower at zero, she had the hundred percent strength. Okay. And say when she say covered uh, say traveled twenty kilometers, the signal was say ninety-five percent. Okay, when it, when she was thirty kilometers, say when she was uh, say 50 kilometers, so let's just let's write this point, this is a tidy point. When she was 50 kilometers away from the tower, I can read the percent of strength was 90 percent. So I'll write 50 comma 90. So what does this graph tell me? That this is a straight line, okay, this is steadily decreasing. So this part of the graph from 0 to 50 seems to be a straight line. Now from 50 to 80, it is dropping steeply. So this is called a parabola, a parabola, uh, a part. This is dropping steeply. So this is like a curve. And uh, if you draw the complete curve, it would be, it would look like a parabola. We'll come to that later. So let's only concentrate on this part. So from zero, this point, this point as a coordinate can be seen at 0, 10. So 0, 100 means when Megan was at the tower, or she was uh, near the tower, or almost zero distance, she got 100% signal. And at 50, after, at 50 kilometers, she got 90% of the strength. So the first question is write the equation of the, of the signal strength S. So this is your S, and so this is your uh, distance, say, let us call this D. Okay, so this is S and this is D. The, uh, of the distance x, okay, so they are saying we should use x, so let's use x. So we're going to find a relationship between s for strength and x for distance. For the first 50 kilometers of a travel. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is to write, to write the equation of the graph of a straight line. You need the y-intercept and the gradient. So very clearly you can see that the y-intercept is 100. The y-intercept is 100. So I'll write the equation of a line. You should be knowing by now the equation of a line is y is equal to mx plus c, where c is the y-intercept and m is the gradient. So you can say c is 100. Okay, that's fine. Now to find the gradient, gradient, I'll write on the grad, that's the letter is M. Gradient is rise over run. Now to find the gradient, it's always good to join it by a straight line. So I'm going, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to join 100, this point with this point, by a right angle triangle, forming a right angle triangle. So yeah, first thing, this is your rise, sorry, this is your run, so run is, I will first show the direction. So the run is to the right and the rise is down. Okay, so this is a good practice to do. So first show the arrow. The arrow is telling me that you're running to the right. So my answer has to be positive. Oh, sorry, I went the other way around, sorry. Rise, rise is, it's the rise is down rises down. Can you see the rise? This is the rise. So rise is down and the run is to the right. You're running to the right and you're rising down. So down means, down arrow means you have to go with the minus over 
and you're running to the right so you have to have a plus number here so how much are you running so you're running from 0 to 50 so your run is 50 plus 50 and how much is your rise it's negative so your rise is negative 10 so it's a very good practice to write like this so I can say m is minus 10 over 50 which is minus 1 fifth which is of course minus 0 0.2 you can use the calculator minus 1 over 2 is minus 2 minus 1 over 5 is 2 over 10 so that is minus 0 0.2 so the equation of the line would be uh, y equals mx which is minus 0 0.2x plus c which is 100 so this is the equation of the line okay so let me write that again here so the equation of the line is y is equal to minus 0 0.2x plus 100 now this is very good if you have if you could do this i want you to read the next question and try to do it yourself okay you can pause the video for a while okay so the question is explain the meaning of the gradient of the line for the first 50 kilometers so what is the meaning what does this number tell you so in other words if you want to say this in percent suppose if you want to say this in percent this is minus 2 over 10 which is minus 20 over 100 so this is in in minus 20 over 100 is 20 percent fall this minus tells you the fall or the decrease so I can say there is a 20 percent fall in the strength of the signal so that's the meaning in in context with this question this means that the strength we can write like this the strength of the signal so for every hundred kilometers there is this minus is telling you the fall of 20 uh, for every hundred there's a fall of 20 percent out of 100 means it is 20 percent so we can say the strength of uh, the signal falls by falls by 20 percent this is uh, how you can describe the meaning of the gradient okay now the next question is the me the company tells Megan that the signal strength has to be 30 percent or greater for Megan to make a successful call Megan is 71 kilometers from the tower when she wishes to make a call use the graph using the graph explain whether she will be able to make a successful call according to the com phone company's information so the company is saying if you have a s signal strength of more than 30 percent or more you can make the call and now she's at 71 kilometers away from the tower so this is let me draw an arrow so this is 70 this is 70 this is 75 so probably 71 would come here so if i read the graph i'm only reading the graph so you can see at 71 kilometers when she's 71 kilometers the strength is probably 39 percent so according to the company if that is the case uh, if her graphing is right so we can say uh, you should support your answer with reason explain whether she can yes she can make the call you can say yes because the strength is the strength of signal the strength of signal or signal strength is about you don't have to be exact is about how much 39 is about 40 percent you can say about 40 percent at 71 kilometers so if what the company says is true she can make the call that's what we are saying okay now finally the last question is really interesting okay Megan thinks the second part of a signal graph so this is the second part 
uh, the section after 50 kilometers, we are talking about this parabolic, uh, this curve, which is which is the shape of a parabola. So yeah, it says is a parabola. So what she's saying is, Megan thinks that this has a shape of a parabola uh, with a maximum at x is equal to 40. Find the equation of this part. So you want to find the equation of this parabola. What is the equation of this parabola? Uh, for this part of Megan's signal graph and use it to confirm your answer. So we are saying that it's about 40% when it is 71 kilometers. So first we need to write the equation of this parabola and then use that equation to get the mathematical answer. Okay. But write the equation of a parabola. Uh, this is very important for the maximum strength is at x is equal to 40. So, so that I will show like this. So this is x is equal to 40. So here what they are saying indirectly is at x is equal to 40, the graph will reach the maximum. If, if you continue this graph, if you ignore this line, it will be uh, the maximum. So you'll reach the maximum somewhere here. So let me write that point. So this point, what they're saying is, this is very important. So when x is 50, when x is 50, y is 90. And this is the axis of symmetry. We can say this is the, the indirectly saying this is the axis of symmetry. So if this is the axis of symmetry, and this is 10 away, 50, 90 is a point on the parabola, as this is a line of symmetry, 30, 90 would also be a point on the parabola, because they are symmetrical. So we can say 30, 90 should also be a point on the parabola, as it is symmetrical over the axis of symmetry. Now, one more important point is this is 80, 0. This is 80, comma 0. And again, this is the line of symmetry. And if it's a, it's a parabola, so this is 40 away from the axis of symmetry. One, this point is 40 away from the axis of symmetry. So the other point will be 40 away from the left. So this will be a point. This should also be a point of the parabola. So let us draw the parabola. So a rough sketch would be like this. What, what she's thinking is the parabola goes something like this. I'll try to do my best. Okay. So we don't know this point. So from this information, we need to write the equation of this graph. Okay. So we know that this is a parabola. If you look at this parabola, this is the transformation of y is equal to minus x squared. Okay. So I hope you know, or you can also say this is the transformation of y is equal to x squared. So here, this parabola, suppose let me draw a sketch of y is equal to x squared. Suppose this is the graph of y is equal to x squared. This is not a perfect graph, so imagine this is y is equal to x squared. Now this parabola has flipped upside down. It's gone, and for that it will be, we'll have to have a minus. It has gone 40 to the right and something up, okay? So that will not help because I don't know this. If you, have, if you knew this point coordinate, we could have written. But this point, this point and this point helps me to write. I, I can say the parabola has a stretch factor. So it is pulled, probably it is pulled on both sides. Imagine these, these two ends are pulled on both sides. So it is flipped over, it has moved to the right, it has gone up and there is a stretch factor. So there are many things happening. So I can say the equation of this parabola would be a times x minus 80 times x minus 0 by only looking at the x-intercept. So as the x-intercepts are 80 and 0, I can say it should be a. a is, a will tell me the stretch factor. Okay, a will tell me the stretch factor. So, and the, I, I could write minus 80 because one of the x-intercept is 80, and I could write x minus 0 because the other x-intercept is uh, 0. So, we don't need to write minus 0. So, I can write y is equal to ax times 
x minus a t. Let me write a properly. This is a very interesting one of this. Should, this is a, should be an excellence question. Now I want to find what is this a, a. Now for that you have to simply substitute any one value other than this a t and zero. Of course, if you put uh, if you put zero a t, a will get cancelled. So let me take this point. You can take 50, 90, or 30, 90. It doesn't matter. So let us take 50, 90. So what are we saying? When x is 50, y is 90. Because they are point on this parabola. So in place of x, I'm going to put 50. And in place of y, I'm going to put 90. So this is 90 is equal to a times <coughs> 50 bracket 50 minus 80. I'll show you also the, how to do it, how to get this answer without going through this step. Of course, that's after once we work this out. So this is 50a times minus 30. So this is 90 is equal to minus 1500a. So I'm going to divide this by 15 minus 1500 and this also by minus 1500 so what will happen this minus 1500 and 1500 will get cancelled so a is 90 divided by minus 1500 so let me get my calculator uh, i already done that okay so this is 90 divided by minus 1500 that's minus 0 0.06. So A is minus minus 0. Point. This is the stretch factor. Okay, this is what the parabola has become fatter. This is the basic parabola. This parabola has become fatter because it is uh, divided or this multiplied by a decimal. This is in fact a small number. So the equation of this uh, parabola would be y is equal to minus 0 0.06x times x minus 80. Okay, now the final part is, this is one of the longest videos that I have made, we want to check whether answer in C uh, m makes sense in this equation. So what we have to do is, we have to put when x is 71, we want to find y. Now y is the strength. So let us use the calculator. So here you can delete this minus 0 0.06 times uh, sorry minus 0 0.06 times 71 bracket 71 minus 80. What's the answer? That's 38.34. So we were pretty close. We said, and the graph also tells it is 38.34 or 38, so about 40. Okay, so we can say, uh, find the equation of this part of the graph and use it to confirm. So yes, we can say, when x is so y is 38.3 percent of strength is there, which was almost the same answer that we got. Okay, as I told you, how to get this equation using a graphic calculator. So if you have this point, you need only three points. If you uh, use three points, we can get the same equation. So let me finish it off. So what you have to do is you go to, go to stats. I have done this many times, but I'll do it again. So here, I will enter the x values on list one and y values on list two. So I'll do very fast. So you are 30. You got uh, 50, and you have got 80. Isn't it? You have got 30, 50, and 80. The, the, those are your x-intercepts. Sorry, x uh, coordinates. The y coordinates are 90, comma 90, comma zero. Okay. Now you have to set your scale. What should be a scale? Okay. Uh, let us. Okay. Before that, I want to graph it. I have to look up your setting. This should be a setting, okay, scatter graph, x list in list 1, y list in list 2, frequency should be 1, and uh, don't worry about this, and then you graph it, okay, exit, 
and then graph it. Okay, so this is, so to get a better scale, I will go from 0 to 100, or, yeah, scale of 5 would do, and in Y I'll go again from 0 to uh, 100, or 120, okay, and scale of 5. So graph, so these are your points, and then you go calculate, and this is your, par this is a parabola, so you press F2. This is your equation, okay? Uh, yeah, this is right, but when you expand this, you'll get the same thing. So the calculator is telling me that this is the equation minus 0 0.06 x squared plus 4.8. So the calculator has given me this equation minus 0 0.06 x squared. So the calculator has given me y is equal to minus 0 0.06 x squared. Uh, what was the next? Uh, plus 4.8x. Plus 4.8x. And uh, that's the same thing. If you expand the one that you have got, you'll get the same answer. If you expand this, if you expand this equation, you'll get the same thing. See you in the next video.